Dear Juno by So Young Pak. This snapshot is realistic fiction. It is about a boy who finds a creative way to write to his grandmother, who is far away. Juno is watching the night sky. He sees stars and lights from airplanes. He wonders if any of the planes come from a faraway little town near Seoul, Korea. His grandmother lives there. That day, Juno got a letter from her. He loves his grandmother very much. He cannot read Korean, and his parents are busy. So he opens the envelope. Inside it are a letter, a picture, and a dried flower. The picture is a photograph of his grandmother holding a cat. The flower is red and yellow. Because he loves his grandmother so much, he can understand what she sent. He knows that the picture means his grandmother has a new cat to keep her company. He knows that she is growing these flowers in her garden. When he listens to his parents read the letter to him, it says what Juno already knew. He takes the letter to school the next day. He thinks about writing a letter back to his grandmother. He knows she will want to hear from him. That day, he picks the biggest leaf from the tree his swing hangs from. Next, he draws a picture of his parents standing outside the house. Then he draws a picture of his dog Sam underneath the swinging tree. Finally, he draws a picture of himself. He is standing under an airplane in the night sky. He puts everything into an envelope. He shows his parents. They like what he has done and mail his letter. They all wait for an answer. One day, a big envelope comes. It is from Juno's grandmother. He opens it right away. Inside it, he finds a box of colored pencils. He knows that she wants another letter. He sees another picture of his grandmother and her cat. This time, there are two kittens, too. Then he pulls out a little toy airplane. He smiles. His grandmother is coming to visit. That night, Juno helps his parents wash the dishes. Then he and Sam go to bed. Juno goes to sleep and dreams about his grandmother in her faraway home. Soon she will be here to see him. He is very happy.